Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're going out of Inglorious today, Cocklin. So we'll see you down the beach. We'll go get some seafood. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! So this is what we're after, the good old cockles, which are proven to be quite hard to find on this beach. So hey ho, we're four down, only another hundred to go. <laughs> we got Inglorious with us today. Hi, hi. Put some hard graft in to get some food, eh mate? Get the, uh, get these, um, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> All we're doing guys we're just raking the first two inches of sand that's all it is really look at the colors on that one yeah beautiful nice and yeah they're just sitting underneath the uh underneath the surface with their valves sticking up and glorious is on them look at that yeah mate yeah that's about the minimum size we'll take around an inch anything bigger it goes in the bucket as well you can also find the cockles just sitting in the sand like this guys you see the valve would be facing up and at night time you can see their eyes they glow like a, a gold color there you go nice cockle and there's another one oh, look at that one yeah nice big one eh sit on the top lovely job three pointer You up. And glorious fishing is on the scent of the almighty cockles. I can smell them. It's in the wind. Oh, right next to this tree. Beautiful. Not very big. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that one's alive, that one. Nice juicy one. Let's give it a go around here, boss. Yeah, I apologise for the wind noise, guys. We're raking in a 4.6 at the moment. No, I'd say it's about a 4.7, mate. Or maybe a 7. <laughs> it's about 40 mile an hour. So. Lovely job. So, yeah, we're having fun, but at least we're making content. It's not the best for filming. Nah. beauty that's more like what we want how the hell did you see that hawkeye <laughs> what is on it shore crabs brown crab i wonder if there's a lobster in it right. shore crabs That'd be a good dead man i bet you there's a lobster in it sorry i bet you there was a, lo there's a lobster in it in the fire let's try it Another good one there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It is, it's a beauty. Juicy. Yep. Yeah. We're struggling to find good quantities of them at the moment. It's been glorious, they're flipping a few stones. That's probably in that one. Yeah, it's probably in. But come and check this out while you're recording. It's not bad. We can't take these till January, guys. So, at the moment, we're just looking. Look at the size of this one. There it is. Oh, look at that. That's a buster. That's the size of that one. Yeah, that's beauty, that. We'll definitely have him in January. Oh, yeah. That'd be a nice burger. There's two ormers. <laughs> that seems to be a few ormers around. Yeah. It's nice to go a little bit of prospecting. Yeah. Put them back, make sure you don't get damaged. Yeah. That's 
why we come here. Look at that. <laughs> Juicy ones. They're a good better stamp here though, eh? Yeah, much bigger. Yeah. I've a bit more of them as well. Oh yeah, look, I'm starting to find a few here. Yep. That one. Yeah, lovely, eh? Beautiful. That's the ones you want. Yeah. If you can find a hundred of these, you're gonna have a nice meal. Yeah. Oh, he's taken over. The inglorious raking master. Oh no. Oh, straight away. Oh, hold up. There's one at the bottom there, look. In there, look. Beauties, eh? They're nice ones, eh? This is what we want to see. Go on it glorious, quicker, quicker, quicker. Check these busters out guys. That's the biggest cockle of the day by a long shot. The big one? Yeah, it's a beauty. Moment. That's the ones we want to be eating. And glorious is pulling them out and I'm just picking them up. Yeah. Eventually we'll get this uh, this bucket full. I don't need a huge amount because it's only me eating them. And I make a nice delicious meal, cooking up some cockles. You're right though, they're definitely deeper. Yeah, just a little bit deeper. All of this that we're raking, guys, the next tide would literally wash this flat. You'll never even know we were here. You see, we've done that big area <laughs> and how many cockles we got. We haven't got a huge amount, but it's enough for a feed. We're not going to be gathering a huge amount more guys, I've almost got enough for a meal there. So I'll take these to a rock pool in a minute and give them a good wash out. There's some really nice ones. Big old cockles. Ah, oh, beast. Lovely job. The more of these we get, the better. Just going to go wash all the cockles off now. I get them as clean as I can. And then we'll get some fresh water in the bucket. Or fresh clean salt water shall I say and then we'll purge these overnight and they'll be good for cooking There's a fair few cockles in here it's gonna make a nice delicious meal good old Christmas cockling can't go wrong. And what I'll do is put my aerator in here overnight. Keeps them a lot of oxygen in the water and they will expel all of the grit that's inside of them. And make some good to eat. And you can do this with a lot of shellfish. It can be oysters, razor clams, gape clams. Any sort of clam species, it's always best to purge them. And you can enjoy a delicious meal. And there we go. That's a good amount of cockles right there. I'd say there's not a huge amount on this beach. As long as you get enough for a feed, 
It's happy days, eh, mate? Yeah, beautiful. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. If you, want, if you want to check out Inglorious Fishing's channel, guys, I'll leave the link in the description. Make sure you check it out. One of the best lobster fishermen you're going to see right there. Cheers, mate. Link's in the description, guys. We are back up at the vehicle. Nice little workout. We are back in the kitchen. And as you can see, look at the dirt that came out of these. This is why it's good to purge them. You can see all the grit at the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do is get these in a strainer. I'm gonna quickly wash them off. And I'm gonna cook them up. That's a lot of grit out of them. Nice and clean, ready to eat. Look at the size of some of those beauties. These are the ingredients I'm going to be using today, guys. Got some chorizo sausage, some garlic paste, smoked paprika, olive oil. Got a little bit of uh, the Old Bay there, and some Guernsey butter. What I'm going to do is put a really small amount of water in there as well. It will create a bit of steam, and all these different ingredients will soak into the seafood. A little bit of garlic paste in there. Love my garlic. We've got our sausage for a little bit of a uh, smoky flavor. Give it a little sprinkle of Old Bay as well. We're just creating a flavor bomb. <laughs> Smoked paprika. And we're ready to roll. All these flavors together, this is smelling absolutely delicious. Can't beat the smell of sausage and garlic. <laughs> delicious. Get them all nicely coated in there. Delicious. Once they're all open, we're ready to eat. Christmas Eve, and we got some delicious cockles to eat. Oh yeah, check those bad boys out. The reason I keep the water so low and just add loads of ingredients is because it becomes like a nice sauce at the end, so you can dip the cockles in. Check that out guys. Bits of chorizo sausage, lovely delicious cockles. What more can you ask for? Check that out guys. That's a plate full of shellfish right there. And look at the size of some of these. Absolute monsters. Mm. Not one bit of grit in there, not one. Yeah. You get that saltiness because it's all the clams, they hold a bit of salt water. Hence the reason I didn't put any sea salt in this. And they make it really salty. Mm. Oh look. And if you find any like that that are not opened, just discard them. There's no point opening them. Not with cockles anyway. Bit of chorizo sausage in that one. Mm. A nice little trip with Inglorious this was. Nice to have them along on a trip. We went out shrimping last night as well. It's now Christmas Eve now, so um, I think these were purging for about 30 hours. And you can see how much grit came out of them. So it's always worth to do it. I wish I had a bit of French bread or something like that with this. That would make it just 
that little bit more better. Mmm. Oh, so tasty. It's a bit like a mauls, but with cockles. Mmm. So I won't leave the video any longer, guys. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna absolutely destroy this. So tasty. Mmm. With a nice bit of garlic in there and that sausage, it really gives it a really pungent flavour. Mmm. So stay tuned for the next episode. I went Babylon any longer. If you want any merch, the links in the description. There's gonna be plenty more to come. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo! I hope everyone has a good Christmas. Think you want me to move? No, you are. Keep raking. <laughs>